Hey, Jono here. Thanks for joining me for Rise of the Tomb Raider with another score attack. This time it's Witch's Cave, the Bubby Yaga DLC. It's uh, the boss fight with Bubby Yaga. Um, this, this video is definitely not a like. Well, I mean, I get the gold score, obviously, that's why it's here, but uh, yeah, this isn't really a like do it. Do it as I do. You could do it much better. Uh, I had a hard time mainly with the the uh, the difficulty uh, playing on survival difficulty again because can be done endurance and cold darkness. I've been doing them all on the easiest difficulty, so to go back into it and go into a um, like super hard difficulty. I just wasn't really uh, prepared. Like I'm, I'm used to like having auto aim and, and everything like that. So you can see it's pretty sloppy. But I mean, it's definitely worth playing on that difficulty. You get massive amount of point points just for um, the kills. It's just a shame about losing combos. And I liked healing items, so... A lot of just blood left on the screen. I feel like the Baba Yaga score attacks are good ones to do after you've finished the DLC, as in like of uh, not long after finishing the DLC. Obviously you want to finish the DLC, I don't know if you can even do it beforehand, but um, I left it until much later. Boss fight was fresh in my mind of how to, to achieve it, but uh, the first, the, the actual puzzle, tomb equivalent, yeah, I, I, it took me a while just because of uh, having to work out what what to do to actually solve the puzzle. Come on, Lara, keep it together. We get to go for a nice, nice long swim. Get that combo relatively high. For all the good it'll do. <laughs> this segment was a good one for popping the lanterns as well because um, Lara isn't being attacked at all. So, as I said, this isn't a real how to do it sort of video, it's just me doing it. It's possible that it's much better to utilize these later on. Plus, as you can see, I had infinite poison arrows, which was a nice, nice perk. When you lose maybe 50% of your bonus but in my opinion it's definitely worth having I can't remember what my bonus ended up being for this it was um probably a few hundred percent The thing with poison arrows too is you don't have to land a direct hit to kill kill enemies. It still kills them in one go even on survival difficulty.
the only thing you have to watch is that you don't shoot them too close to yourself, otherwise Lara takes damage. Which kills your combo. from poison. Nasty, nasty fall out of all the places to land. I happen to land in the hole. Great too that the ammo gives you points and continues your multiplier. I mean I, I picked up everything I could despite not using anything apart from the bow. We picked a good card to have as one where you start without any ammo because most of the time it seems that these ammo pouches just or ammo boxes just everywhere anyway. Like even at the beginning. So I think it's like a hundred percent bonus. You can do this, got to stay focused. Especially if you have um, a card with infinite arrows of any type. The annoying thing is every now and then you go to pick up ammo and Lara just won't do it. And with the combo running out. Oh, like the timer going down, you can't really afford that. And this is when it got a bit bit sloppy for me because I just couldn't remember where we were meant to be trying to get to.
died. Yeah, debated restarting. I was really unhappy that I died, but the checkpoint was there. I lost the thing 300 points. I was like, well, screw it. Let's just carry on. I don't know why I thought I would make that. Mostly picking up the little bundles that the enemies leave behind in the hopes of getting cloth and herbs and leaves. Just so I could keep healing. And for some reason, this lantern just decided it didn't count anymore. Probably another way to go to get to where I needed to be, but I figured I'd just keep spamming arrows at her, keep her hidden. I miss the wisp. just noticed that I've seen it come up with environmental kill and well, environment kill and all that but I didn't realize we're getting a 1.25 score same with headshots and kill streaks So even just shooting him directly, with it being poison, it still, still gives you the environment kill.
expected her to die there. I didn't realize I missed one of the uh, gas wells, what do you want to call it? Luckily, the time bonus is just a bonus, not an actual time limit. full damage but at least I didn't die I was hoping she'd roll but I don't know if she can even do that in this mode if that's a learned ability Zim bonus. So yeah, it was a uh, not a bit sloppy, but not too bad. Yeah, we're up to thirty-two thousand. So until the next score attack, thank you very much for watching and take it easy.